Quick gym session this morning to ease me back into this. I used to be in the gym all the time, um, and I haven't been in the gym since I went on holiday. So I probably haven't been in the gym for about a month. But I'm going to start again because I'm just feeling lazy. Quick gym session this morning. One, two, three, fuck it. Hi, it's Mars Media calling here. I've been referred from Jamie Krantz at Mars, that's M-A-R-Z, yeah. dot media. Mars dot media. And you said it was um, videos that you do? Yeah, promotional videos, yeah. Look forward to hearing you guys. Thank you. Bye, bye. Bye. The only problem with running a business at my age that I am right now, which is 18, is experience. Okay, I was gonna do my standard opening the door shot, but it turns out there's a load of parcels. Let's just get these parcels inside. Back to what I was saying about running your own business, right? I'm 18 years old, right? And this, this, is where people struggle. This is where it gets complicated. It's really not hard to set up your own business. It's really not. You have to go to company's house, you pay like 70 pounds to get your company name registered. For me, that's Mars Media Limited. And then you open up a business bank account. That's pretty much giving you the, the, the opportunity to say, I own a business. But it doesn't stop there. It's all about experience and that's something I lack. I've recently just fallen out with a big company which I was doing some work for before. I was doing a few promotional videos for them, I was about to do their showroom tour, and they were going to go to this show in my town called Lincolnshire Show, and they wanted me to do some video of them at the show. They've cancelled all that work and they don't want to work with me anymore, and it was my fault. They don't want to work with me anymore because, pretty much, at the end of the day, I'm inexperienced. I'm still learning. But that's the whole reason I do this. The whole reason I do this thing and the whole reason I've set up my business is to teach myself. I want to learn, I want to learn the ropes, I want to learn how people do things. And yeah, I've slipped up in the past, I've slipped up. I've, I've ruined my reputation for some companies. As I said, I've, I've had an email this morning from this company saying they no longer want to work with me anymore because I messed up on something. I've learned from that now. But it's about experience. And I'm a shy human being as it is. I don't understand how I do this YouTube thing. I really don't. But... It's all about experience and knowing what to do. That is running a business. And unfortunately, I don't know what to do. I can't give advice on it. People ask me for advice all the time. Alex, how can I run a business? Well, it's easy to go and set up a business. You know, I own a business, yada, yada, yada. But that's not the be all and end all of it. Running a business takes so much effort. And I wouldn't tell people I run a business yet because I'm still learning. I don't know how to run a business. So if you listen to any 18 year old who tells you how to run a business, unless they're some sort of entrepreneur, I wouldn't take their advice. Trust me. <laughs> Optimum heating, digital multi-temperature control. This isn't just any normal kettle. This isn't just your on and off standard kettle. This is a one cup turbo kettle. Oh my God. The funny thing is, I've said in my vlogs that I've needed a kettle for this office, but I haven't ordered this. I have not ordered this. Someone's ordered this for me, but it wasn't one of you guys, because if you guys send stuff, it goes to the PO box, not to my office. And this arrived at my office. Well, I'm not complaining. I now have a functioning kettle. I don't even know if it works. It's probably gonna explode, innit? Whoever sent that also sent me a coffee machine. I'm probably going to need the manual. I've never worked a coffee machine before in my life. I now own a coffee machine and a kettle. Thank you for whoever sent me a coffee machine and a kettle. I'm assuming that's meant to go in there. And it is. Wicked. No way. This is so cool.
Take... I've just urgently left the office because I've received an email from the post office peer box thing that said, Alex, come pick me peer box because it's getting too full. So that's where I'm on my way to now. Mate. Well, no, right, I'm, coming, I'm coming back then, yeah? Yeah, there's a lot. Right. He said I won't be able to carry it all at once, so I need to do numerous trips. The things I do... <laughs> Only one hour. Oh. Oh. Well, um, just sign in there. Cheers. Just gonna leave that there for now. Bye bye, PO Box. <laughs> It says Royal Mail Vehicles only, but I think I'm going to try and park my car like here because at the moment I'm parked all the way down here. I sort of thought this PO box thing might calm down a little bit, but there was boxes and I like boxes. I don't know if this is illegal or not, but I'm still doing it anyway. I'm going to park here. Oh, This is probably dangerous to drive like this. Oh dear. another box there we go oh days <laughs> right let's go home I've literally just got back from the office and I've got a sudden urge I really want to go fly the drone I want to go and chill and just fly the drone she should be just round this corner here she is take her off our little hooks that we made there we go so we need the drone and the controller we check that we have sufficient battery which we do, and now we go. Can you guys see this cobweb? It's a mental thing, isn't it? So I've just arrived here, right? I am at literally my favourite place where I like to come and fly the drone. And look how the, look how the, the, the sun's coming through the, let's just get this thing up in the air. right now it's so cool that was fun it really calms me down when I've got a lot of stress and work on. I love flying that thing. I have so much stuff, I have so much stuff, I have so much stuff. I have so much stuff. Thank you. I managed to get my PA box down to just this little tiny box and then a day later, it's everywhere. You guys are ruddy mental. He agrees. Okay, he's doing it again. What I think I'm going to end up doing is getting rid of this sofa and getting a nice little table to put here. A little nice little table just to go in this corner that I can put my record player on, uh, some speakers, and uh, then I can put all the peer box stuff underneath it. That way everything looks a little bit more organised than it going on this sorry state of a sofa. But anyway, I've got so much work I need to do tonight. I've got to edit a boat video, I've got to finish a wedding video, I've got to send out some payments to some clients, I've got to make sure some clients have paid me. Ah, it's a big night tonight, but I just need to get it all done. That's the thing with me that I always do. It's things that I don't want to do, I'll leave them and let them all build up. I should just do them, but I, 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 tonight's the night where I've just got to get that stuff done. So, my name's been Alex, you guys have been awesome. Hope you've enjoyed today's vlog, and I'll keep you in touch in tomorrow's video. Adios. Oh my God.